couldn't be happier for such a beautiful day for a wedding for these two special people to be united. Thank you, dear Lord. sitting together in our freshman dorm not too long after he met Alicia and we were talking about our weekly gossip <laughs> and he looks me in the eyes and he goes someday I'm gonna marry Alicia and you're gonna be standing next to me as my best man <laughs> And there may not have been a whole lot that we did right that year, but that was one very, very important thing. <laughs> speak in the tongues of men or of angels, but do not have love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I might boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. I feel in the presence of God and these witnesses. I feel in the presence of God and these witnesses. Take you, Alicia, to be my wife. Take you, Alicia, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. As long as we both shall live. I, Alicia, in the presence of God and these witnesses. I, Alicia, in the presence of God and these witnesses. Take you, Philip, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you as long as we both shall live. It is my privilege to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Anschutz. Day one of seeing these two interact, I knew Phil was going to make this simpler than I expected. The way his face lights up around her says more than words could ever describe. He is respectful, supportive, and laid back when it comes to not only Alicia, but other people in his life. I know if I called up Phil, he would just do about anything to help with any situation I was in. The love these two share is admirable. They consistently display the importance of teamwork and support. Their love is natural and pure. Cheers to Alicia and Phil. <laughs> This is the kind of love that you will really build a strong marriage on. A, a love that is selfless, a love that puts aside your own desires and needs, a love that, that puts the other first, a love that needs to be there through all the challenges and troubles you might have in your marriage, a love that will be there through the arguments and the harsh words, a love that will be there even when it's not reciprocated. But it's a love that is selfless, a love that is given purely for the other person. 